Bob, I'm going to start off with uh, your first uh, memories of being in Vancouver. You often speak of your dad as very <coughs> influential. Um, what are some of those early memories? Well, you know, I was born in Vancouver uh, in Chinatown, and we moved to uh, 7th and Canby, and that's where Falls Creek is, and went to model school. And <coughs> I remember uh, going to great, uh, uh, great, I graduated there and I went to King Edward High. And uh, during my first year at high school, my, my counselor says my marks aren't very good and I should take high school grad. So, you know, my dad never saw my report card or didn't know anything about education because he was so busy at work. So I, I, I said to myself, gee, you know what? Uh, maybe, I, okay, I'll take high school grad. But after two months, I said, you know what? I might want to go to university. Even though I can't make it, I want to do it. So I told the counselor that uh, I want to go to UBC. And he said, well, it's going to be very tough for you. And I said, well, I'll try. But luckily, that was one of my big moves because I would have never gone to UBC. But anyways, Dad worked um, uh, two jobs, the greenhouse in the daytime and Fu Hang at night. And we saw my dad uh, what, two hours a week for 12 years. And I never went to a haircut for, until I was 18 because he cut our hair with a rice bowl. <laughs> <laughs> I always said, Dad, don't cut it too short. <laughs> But anyways, uh, so I learned a lot from Dad in the early days. Throughout the years in the university, um, my mind got better because it was more, I was more interested in business. And when I was very young, uh, I worked for my dad, and uh, we had to go to Chinese school. So on weekends, I would work for my dad's store. I was 13, 14, and he said to me, he said, son, you can learn how to cook. So I would be the sous chef for the guy down in the store who cooked for all the staff. And in, in the back of the store, they had a, a window there, and my dad was very much interested in real estate. So I would climb up on the sack of rice and just listen to what he's saying when I was 13 or 14 years old. So that sort of kept in the back of my mind that maybe real estate is my game. Uh, uh, just happened in the 60s, um, the uh, Hong Kong run. I mean, anybody from Hong Kong here, the bank was going to, China was going to take over Hong Kong. So all the wealthy people there came to Vancouver. So they came to Va Vancouver and they went to the banks and the, they said, we want to buy real estate in Vancouver. Who should we see? Well, you got to see Bob Lee because he speaks Chinese. So I thank my father for making me go to Chinese school for 12 years. <laughs> So when I couldn't play sports at all, so, so now these people came to Vancouver, and i just give you an experience, the, the first deal that I, look, first of all, you, you, where do you go first? You go to your dad's friends. So I went to H.Y. Louis, uh, Tong Louis, sat in his office in the early days for a year. I sold him a site in Lake City. They're still there today. I went to see Roger Chang, who was my dad's friend, C.T. Takahashi. So those are the, I said, gee, I got to get, uh, get to know my dad's friend. This is what you call networking, okay? You, you got to have networking regardless of what in business. But anyways, so those are the deals that were sort of my bread and butter, okay? So I was sort of dreaming that I could make one of the bigger deals. So it took me about four or five years to do that. In the meantime, uh, I told Lily that we have to be frugal. We can't, you know, I, I, I don't know how much we're going to make. So she was very good at handling all the budgets and everything in the family and look after the children when they're growing up. So in the meantime, uh, this young, uh, young uh, short fellow came in, dressed just average, and uh, introduced by the Royal Bank, and he says, I want to buy apartments. So I said, hmm, 10 suites? And uh, he said, no, drive me around. So I drove around the whole West End, and he says, I want to buy that building there. It's the largest building in Vancouver apartment. 263 suites, I would still remember the day, uh, the, the number of suites, and it's the largest building off English Bay called Imperial Towers. So, geez, I said, now who do I know there that, that, I, that introduced me is, uh, the owner is Tom Campbell, who became mayor after. We became very good friends. So I, I phoned, I said, gee, I think my, my accounting as colleague is a, is a controller there. So I phoned out, I said, Ted, you know what, would you mind asking uh, your boss whether you want to sell the building? He says, he phoned me back a couple of days later. He said, yeah, we'll sell it. So make a long story short, we haggled a bit. 
And uh, one weekend, uh, just before the next counter offer, I played golf and I shot 120 because I was thinking about the commission, okay? <laughs> <laughs> I said, here's my big, you know, if I do this, boy, I'll be set. So anyways, on a Monday after the weekend, I went up, uh, there's the Bauer building on Granville Street uh, next to Engledews, and I bought some donuts and everything out, bought it up to the top floor, and I said, um, Mr. Campbell, here's my uh, offer, and, uh, and I just looked straight, he said, I'll take the offer. I just looked straight. I couldn't believe it. He said, he said Bob, I'll take the offer. <laughs> so we did the deal. It's the biggest deal in the West End of that time. And I made 10 times my annual salary on that one deal. But I tell you, Lily was really, uh, 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 really helped me in my business and with the children because all our kids swam. They played tennis and they skied, okay? They would take Graham, uh, Lily would take Graham, when I'm still working, uh, up, to, up to Gross Mound uh, around 3 o'clock. And, and Lily would say, Graham, I think Graham was about 8 years or 9 years. He said, I'll meet you here at 9 o'clock. So he'd go skiing. At 9 o'clock, Lily would go pick, pick them up. So I got to give credit to Lily for um, raising all our kids and, uh, uh, you know, how they are today. I mean, thank so you, dear. A couple questions about your dad. Yeah. First of all, how did he encourage you to give back the way you and Lily have to the community? Well, well you know, my dad always uh, was a big donor in Chinatown. Uh, he gave the YWCA Chinese Public School. He was the president of the Lee Association North America for about 20, 30 years. And he was principal of school for 30 years. And so he, he really, uh, he was one of the original Chinese Merchants Association uh, uh, directors. And he was always involved with the, with the community. And even with the uh, Huming Tang party, he was very active there. And he knew Chiang Kai-shek and all the big wheels. So my dad was very uh, generous uh, when it came to the village because he, they, they funded my dad to come here when he was 16 years old. And they all contributed. So my, my dad, for, till, he was, till he died, he kept sending money back to the village every year, you know, just as a payback time, you know, yeah. I would say I'm, uh, uh, I'm Canadian first, and then I'm Chinese. And I, I mean, I'm born here, and I love being in Vancouver. I'm a, I'm, a, I'm a Canadian. But I like the heritage of Chinese heritage. Like I, you know, still think of all my, my dad and my mother and, uh, and, and so on. So that's how I feel, yeah. Mm -hmm.